Today's payments platforms are creaking. The next generation will use digital currencies and distributed ledger technology to make them faster, cheaper, and more convenient. But first, central banks must ensure they comply with anti-money laundering and criminal financing regulations. Bitcoin could enable money laundering because it is quasi-anonymous, but the underlying distributed ledger is efficient. National payment systems have evolved separately. They talk different languages. The distributed ledger would provide a common global language. In a closed, centralized network, central banks could issue digital currencies only to institutions that are fully regulatory compliant. Checks would only need to be made at the point of entry or exit from the network, leaving money to move freely within it. Such a system could deliver the best bits of Bitcoin, cost and speed, and incorporate robust money laundering checks. Central banks have started experimenting to assess whether a revamped payments platform could incorporate a distributed ledger. There are hurdles. The Bank of Canada's Project Jasper identified persistent challenges around settlement finality, operational risk, and access. Project Ubin, the Monetary Authority of Singapore's experiment, also identified obstacles, but hopes to resolve them in the project's ongoing second phase. Of course, the industry could agree to use a completely different common language and is already modernizing, albeit gradually, as providers consolidate. But if the outstanding challenges can be overcome, the distributed ledger could be the best way to unlock faster and cheaper payments.